Senator, uh, I want to move you to another uh, topic that is very important right now as well. We just saw what's going on in the streets of Israel. Um, our reporter was just, you know, getting sort of nudged around out there in a very uh, violent and volatile situation. Here's Josh Ernest, uh, the press secretary at the White House, talking about how they see this situation yesterday in the briefing. Let's play it. We continue to stress to leaders on both sides the importance of condemning violence and combating incitement. Uh, ultimately, ending this conflict will require both sides making some difficult decisions, some decisions that will require them to exercise some significant political courage. They're getting a lot of pushback uh, for that. That was from Wednesday, uh, actually. Yeah. Your thoughts? But that's their, that's their attitude with Israel all the time. They want to be this honest broker between the Palestinians and the Israelis. We're not an honest broker. We are firmly on the side of Israel, at least we should be. They are the only pro-American, free enterprise democracy in the Middle East. We need to be 100% on their side. And number two, we need to be criticizing Abbas and the Palestinian Authority because they're the ones that are inciting violence. I don't hear Netanyahu going around telling people to stab uh, Palestinians, to attack people. On the contrary, Israeli security forces have taken on extraordinary risk to try to bring this down, the v level of violence down. It is the Palestinian side that is inciting the violence. It is the Palestinian side that is encouraging and celebrating people who are attacking Israelis and, and Jews in the region and others. And it is unacceptable. And I wish we had a White House that was clearly on the side of Israel. This is an outrage, quite frankly. It is, in many ways, contributing to the instability in the region and many of the things that we now see.